Hey guys, so here's a new video on my fourth channel. Now, I might not be able to do horror collection videos probably again, because YouTube has a new policy that everything's got to be kid-friendly. Now, they've been doing this policy forever. Now it has to say that if you don't do kid-friendly content, they will delete your channel. So this might be the final horror video ever. Just kidding. Screw you, YouTube. I'm doing what I love. That's to make YouTube videos. So, the Banana Splits movie. Tra la la. Tra la la. Terror. This movie ain't that bad. A lot of people say it's a Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff. How is the Banana Split show a Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff? When that. This is based on old Warner Brothers TV show. The show came out before Five Nights at Freddy's even existed. It's not a knockoff. Itsy bitsy. This movie ain't as bad as I thought it would be. Trailers look good, but look at the back of the case. It don't really look that interesting. But I like, I loved it. <sighs> And guys, by the way, I will be doing a movie that I've seen in 2019 video. Like, I might not talk about only horror in that video. Okay. The boy, they're making a sequel to this, and guess what? I still haven't seen this movie. But there it is, Glow in the Dark Case. This was a dollar. And a store I go to that I could get used DVDs at. It was just a buck. So why not get it? Hold on a minute. Let's down a so, yeah, the boy. Glow in the dark art. I'm surprised that sticker store on it. The village. M. Night Shyamalama. My DVD shelf is dusty. M. Night Shyamalama Boom Boom. Remember when I used to call him that? My old my video. Kane, see no evil two. See no evil. They have seen no evil two. I should get it, but it has like this card thing that has a voodoo thing, but I actually think I get in Sino Evil 2. If you're wondering what these are, these are right on this stack, and they're just the Tomb Raiders. They're not really horror. Okay. Now we're. We hit the Stephen King collection, which I did do a Stephen King collection video on this channel. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. The Stand. I'm not going to show the disc to these because I did in that video. Stephen King's 1408. Stephen King's The Shining. Which Dr. Sleep came out recently. I haven't seen this or Dr. Sleep, so when Dr. Sleep comes out, I'll probably finally watch this movie. When it comes out on DVD stuff. Misery. Misery, misery, misery. How I ordered you friendship and you spat in my face. That's actually a line from Spider-Man 1, the Tommy McGuire movie. Not this misery. But I thought it would be kind of funny to bring up Spider-Man in a horror movie. It's it Chapter 2 is coming out December 10th. I'm getting the Blu-ray probably. Hold on a minute, guys. We gotta fix this. I think I'm going to do shit all the time. I think I'm getting It Chapter 2 on Blu-ray because I don't really like the DVD cover. It's like just Georgie holding a balloon. So I'm probably getting the Blu-ray of it. Chapter 2. I'll probably buy the Blu-ray to these also. So I'll have double dip on both of those because I actually like these hits. Hold on. Carrie on Blu-ray. 
Plus, that's another thing. I got Carrie on Blu-ray, but the rest are DVDs. Carrie remake on DVD. Stand by me. It is obviously a Stephen King movie. The Children of the Corn Saga, which I have all the way up to seven. I don't have Run Away, and I don't have. I mean, yeah, Run Away or Genesis, Creep Show. I have seen Creep Show too in stores. I should have got it. Why didn't I get it? Storm of the Century. Hindsight, which is also right there. I'll get to it later on in the video. Pet Cemetery. One of my favorite Stephen King movies. And then Pet Cemetery 2. And then this Pet Cemetery. Yeah, we're not talking about that. Firestarter with Drew Barrymore. Scream 2. I have seen all the Scream movies. The reason why I don't own them is because I wanted this for these special features. Plus, it was the only Scream they had, and I just wanted to own the Scream on DVD. So I got Scream 2. They're making a new one. Next year, there's going to be another Scream. That's actually a tag out from my ghost face. Can you see it? Ghost face mask. The Blade collection, which features Blade. All three Blade movies in the pilot episode of the show. Slender Man. This was actually my favorite horror movie of last year. I mean, Always Watching was a complete piece of crap, but Slender Man was ten times better. Hope they make more creepypasta movies, like Jeff the Killer and Smile Dog and all those. I hope they make them. And I guess technically Momo is a creepypasta. So technically Momo would be the next creepypasta movie. Scary movie. <laughs> Scary movie 3. I have seen Scary movie 2. I own it on VHS. Yeah. You kids today are weird. You don't know what VHSs are. Scary movie 4. Killjoy's Revenge. Boogeyman 1 and 2. I don't have Boogeyman 3. Someone gave this to me. They didn't realize they had two copies of this. So they gave it to me. Ghost Shop. Decent amount of special features. I actually told you that, y'all that. Because in the most time. When I make these horror videos. I just show it. But yeah. I got that movie. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, Tim Burton. You kids today probably don't know who Tim Burton is. Y'all are busy playing Fortnite, Call of Duty. You don't know who Tim Burton is. And then, The Women in Black. And then, The Women in Black 2, Angels of Death. So let me put this back on the shelf. Uh, go ship. Boogie Man 102. This. And I'm not editing this video. It's all took it in one. It's all made in one take. That's probably why my. What you might call it, video? The Annabelle Comes Home in boxing. It was like, hey, what's up, you guys? Well, good night, I'm going to take care of Here's Annabelle Comes Home. Oh, you've seen that video. I also made a follow up video called YouTube Screwed Up. Because they did. I recorded the video and it just had, was going super fast, the audio, and it, like, when I did the unboxing, the video was over. Basically, like, I would start towards the what was supposed to be the end of the video. Not supposed to be the end of the video. The audio stopped. But anyway, I need to glue this back on. 
I'm not taking this off. Oh, that's maybe so. Oh, fine. Baby shark, do 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 do. Okay, that's terrible. Also, how about? Nah, a lot of people would probably hate this film. They think it's fun. It's very rip off. So if I sing the song for this, they probably will flag it. They'll probably dislike this video. But that is not a knockoff. Crawl. I actually recently saw this, and it was Leatherface. Texas Chainsaw. Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. And. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The reboot. Slither. Author. Red. Whatever that is. You read it. God can't pronounce it. Cry Wolf. And. Return. I actually recently got this. You didn't see this in my previous video. The last October horror movie collection. This is the November horror DVD collection. I'm gonna do these every month probably. Friday 13th, 8 movie collection. You're probably like, 8? Hey. Isn't there 10? Yeah, I'll get to that in a little bit. 2, there's 3. Which actually, for some reason, they put it in 3D. But I think. If I remember, I put this DVD in. It's not in 3D. The final chapter, which is not the final chapter, because they made five. Actually, final chapter is the only movie that's kind of not numbered besides Jason Goes to Hell. And Freddy vs. Jason. Well, that Jason will hate Oh, in the remake. What movie? Part 5, A New Beginning. Part 6, Jason Lives, which I actually enjoyed. I recently saw this and now I'm caught up with the series. 7, The New Blood, and Jason Takes Manhattan. Now, y'all are probably like, where's part 9 and 10? There they are. Jason Goes to Hell and Jason Max. I didn't go all out buying these because I knew these movies probably are terrible. So I just bought the Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X triple. Double feature. And then there's the remake. Sadly, there's a lawsuit going around, so there might not be another Friday 13th movie ever again. The Conjuring, I love this movie. The first Conjuring I liked. Second one, I fell asleep to. And this is the series that they are saying they can't make a Freddy Krueger movie to. That they can't continue the Nightmare on Elm Street series till this series is over. The second movie is boring. What are you doing, Warner Bros? Just bring Freddy back. Or at least keep the Penny Wise saga going. Annabelle Creation. Annabelle. Annabelle Comes Home, which I still haven't seen. The Curse of La Riola. Or la, la, la. It's the, it's a Japanese boogeyman. Just put it that way. And then the nun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All eight of the Saw movies. You're probably like eight if you're coming from like 2025. You're probably like eight. Isn't there like more than eight Saw movies. You're watching an older video. So yeah, there's like nine Saw movies at the time you're watching this. But this was made in 2019. The organ donor, Saw 9, whatever you call it, it's not out yet. So there's Saw 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. 3, 4, and 5 on DVD on Blu-ray. 6 and 7 on Blu-ray. And 8 on Blu-ray. Which is Jigsaw. And Saw on DVD, 
So I'll do a three on Dignity. So four or five. Saw six and seven, and then Jigsaw on DVD. Saw four, soundtrack. Leprechaun, seven movie collection. All the Leprechauns are in here. You're probably like, no it's not all the Leprechauns at the time. Because Leprechaun Returns. I actually, a lot of people hated this movie. I actually loved it. The Return of the Leprechaun series. Puppet Master 1, 2, and 3. This is all I have. I'm looking forward to getting the rest. I would like the Puppet Master movies. George A. Romano, Man of the Dead. I do have the original 911 Dead, by the way. I do have the original. It's in a black and white movie box set. Now I'll get to that when I get to this stack. And then the parody the movie, which is Shaun of the Dead in a Natural Treasure 1 box, because my mom got me Natural Treasure and it wasn't in the box. It was just Natural Treasure. Box. It would no disc inside. If you get it, what well, I mean, Avenged. And uh, these movies are cheap, and some like that. Avenged was given to me. And I want like I'm not gonna let these DVDs go in a conveyor belt or something and get smushed. It'd be in landfills. Candyman, 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 Candyman. Which they're making a new movie next year. So if this new movie is a direct sequel, this is all I need in the Candyman series. And I normally don't buy DVDs if they don't have like cases, but someone gave this to me, so I just would like any case for it. So I can show it in my horror DVD collection videos. So here it is. Rated R. But YouTube doesn't want people to be nowadays. <laughs> if you don't know, look up a video from a guy named David A. Quah. You may be able to talk about it. And then probably other people may be able to talk about it. That YouTube said if you make kid-friendly content, you can't have ads. And you don't make money off of them. Which is stupid. Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. Again, rated R. Not for kids. A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. By the way, that case, I don't know why. I'm actually sad that it's ripped. But I was young back then, so I, I was stupid back then. Hey, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. There's Part 3, Dream Warriors. The one I like, Part 4, Dream Master. Part 5, Dream Child. <laughs> then, the, I had, even though I don't like the Dream Child, I wanted Freddy Stead to Final Nightmare, so I just stuck with this. New Nightmare and Freddy vs. Jason. I actually saw this movie. I don't know why people hate it. I think it's a good Nightmare on Elm Street. New Freddy vs. Jason. And then... The movie that also I don't get why people hate. A Nightmare on Elm Street. Jack Earl Haley. And then... Hobo with the Shotgun. This is a two disc collector's edition. I'm going to put these back on my shelf. Like I said, I'm not editing this video, so I'm just going to talk about some recent horror news about Jason Voorhees. <laughs> well, why they ain't making their Friday 13th. So if you guys don't know, Friday 13th wasn't originally owned by Paramount, if I remember correctly. It was owned by, that's why New Line Cinema is the one that's making it out. New Line Cinema didn't own these movies originally. Paramount did. And Paramount wants the license back for Jason. Actually, 
yeah, that's one of them. But the other one is the guy who originally created. Where is it? Part one. What's his name? I think it's Victor Miller, the original creator of this series, once gets it back in his hands. He doesn't trust Jason Voorhees' fans. He wants Pamela Voorhees to um, a movie again. Now, I like the fact that they part one, but I think it's stupid that they can't have Jason in a movie again. Fans love Friday the 13th. Deadly Friends. Oh, the late great Wes Craven. Why did I say all? Oh, well, Eyes of a Stranger. The Hand. And then John Carpenter. Yeah, the creator of Michael Myers. Someone. Someone's watching me. I found this also at the same place I got that shutter. Shutter, whatever it is, the one that has the return in it, and all the discs are here, unlike 1408. 1408 had actually a extended copy in it, but it only came with this one. But oh well, at least I get to see the movie. The Uninvited. Which I put back on my shelf because I've seen previews and this movie doesn't look that bad. I might actually watch it soon. Even though Halloween's over, I'm still going to be doing my horror marathon. Farm also features that. There's the titles. And then Red Riding Hood alternate cut on Blu-ray. You know, there's guys in my horror collection, there ain't that many Blu-rays. Because, look at this. DVD, DVD, some Blu-ray, DVD, DVD, some Blu-rays, DVDs. I mainly buy DVDs. They're sometimes a lot cheaper. Okay, let's go over here. Zombie Land. I haven't seen Double Tap yet. I'm waiting till it comes out on DVD. I won't buy it on Blu-ray. I'm buying it on DVD. Cause that's why I got that one. On. Mo movie. Mo monster movie mix. Alien threat. And deadly attack. There's the disc. Awaken the Shadow Man. Prom night, one, two, and... Th Hold on, guys. My voice sounds different, because if you just heard that, I'm, I sniffed, I'm, my nose is stuffy. But prom night, one, two, and four. I have told you guys before, that I think that's dumb. Prom night, one, two, and four. And two! It's one, two, and two. Sorry, guys. One, two, three, four. Where's three? They could at least just put P and three. Oh, well. And then, the Abysmal Prop Night Remake. Well, I hear people call it that. But it's not a remake. If you look at the special features, watch one of these. It says it's nothing to do with the original. Prom night. The ring. Before you die, you see the ring. The ring two. And then rings. Silent Hill. The First Purge, A Nation Reborn, 
this movie ain't actually that bad. If you hate the Purge movies, this is probably the only good Purge movie in the franchise. And then, the TV series. And then the original Purge on Blu-ray. I don't have Anarchy and I don't have Election Year. I think I'm getting them. They have a bootleg at the place I got that that set. They have a bootleg of the Purge Anarchy. I might get it if I can't find it anywhere else. Jeepers Creepers. One and two. And then Jeepers Creepers 3. Can't wait for them to make another one. So they said four is actually in production. And if they end it with four, I'll be actually kind of, I'll be happy to see how the series ends and know that Jeepers Creepers is one of the greatest horror franchises of all time. Wrong turn one and three. That's actually what that is. It has one and three. If you don't believe me. Wrong turn. This is actually the original case that Bird's TV series was in. You see why the box I took it out. Look how small that clip is compared to that. What is it? Someone flipped the DVD case backwards and just wrote one. But yeah. So that's what that is. Fright Night 2, New Blood. Now, this was cheap at Dollar Tree, so I was like, why not add this to my horror collection? I don't own the first one, though. 28 Days Later. I still regret not getting 28 Weeks Later a Blu-ray from Target. It was on Blu-ray at Target, and I should have got it. The original, Amityville Horror. Dracula 2000. Then... Dracula 2 and Dracula 3 Legacy. And then, since that's Dracula related, Dracula Untold. We're not talking about that. But you see what movie that is. If you don't have been watching this series, the my horror DVD collection, so I tell you why I did that. Because I hate the movie. Dollman, Demonic Toys, and Dollman vs. Demonic Toys. Y'all guys are probably asking, didn't you have a set that had Demonic Toys 2 in it? Yeah, it's right here. Demonic Toys 2, and then the Ginger Dead Man's. Put it in his case, because that's all the Demonic Toys besides the Puppet Master, which I will get if I see it. They all have all the Demonic Toys. Let's make a three. Please, a Salem. Wait, not a Salem. Full Moon. Make a third movie. Oh, that series freaking is great. Even though it's low budget, it's still great. The Monkey's Paw. The Ouija Resurrection, Ouija Experiment 2. Now, guys, this movie, Evil Dead, I'm actually thinking of getting 1, 2, and Army of Darkness. Because I have seen Army of Darkness in the 379 band, and then they have a set with 1 and 2. I'm actually also thinking of getting the show if I see all the episodes. But for right now, I got the reboot. The Eye, which also has a bunch of movies. Trillo Quest, Paranormal Encounters. This has a lot of black and white stuff in it, but that's not the set with the Night of the Living Dead in it. A lot of movies I could watch in these DVDs are broken. The Orphanage. Oops. Evil Bond 3 is in here. What else? Yeah, Evil Bond 3. And Bats. So let me put these back on the shelf and then I'll get to the bottom row and then some other stuff and then we'll be done. Just be up. Now I can lay down because you can hear my voice. Oh, it sounds different. So 
So yeah, let's talk about what my thoughts are on the Invisible Man trailer that I reacted to on this channel. I liked it. It's not the Invisible Man I'm used to. Well, that everyone else knows with the hat and stuff on. In fact, he's basically like a full ghost in the new one. But it's a reboot. What would I expect it to be like the original? Be black and white? That would be cool if the movie actually was a remake in black and white. I'm going to do a Mummy and Scorpion King collection in a shark collection. I did order 47 meters down on Cage, but it they brought the wrong movie, so I'm going to re-buy that movie, and I'm going to show it to you guys. And then, coming soon, oh wait, I already did it. Coming soon will be the Alien Collection. I'm going to get AVP record here. World War Z. They have a video game on Xbox One. Let me know, guys, if you want me to buy the game. Future Murder. Voodoo Curse to Gillian and Mexican Werewolf in Texas. Here it is. This is the DVD I was talking about. Hindsight. That was in that. Storm of Century box set. And I forgot about that box set. That's why I bought this. And then... Wrong number. Some random DVDs. Some of those are. Okay, sure says them. Demon Possessions. Cinnable Diaries. The Apparition. The Right. And Devil Inside. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Devil's Do. Probably the scariest exorcism movie I've seen. That came out last year. The Possession of Hannah Grace. Okay. Child's Play. Child's Play 2 and 3. Bride of Chucky. Child's Play 2 and 3 and Bride of Chucky. That has Seed of Chucky in it also. Curse of Chucky. Which, I'm thinking of getting a Blu-ray, but I got the DVD, so what's the point? Curse of Chucky. And you are my buddy until the end. Which I use in almost every unboxing video I do. I sing that song, even if it's not a Chucky video. I mean, Final Destination 5, which is a prequel, so that's why I put it first. And then Final Destination, Final Destination 2. Final Destination 3, then the Final Destination. Boa, Frankenstein Unbound, Mirrors, one and two. I showed y'all an older video that had Mirrors too. Well, there's Mirrors 1, even though it does have a DVD in it. But the DVD is a digital copy. It's kind of stupid. But the DVD copy is a digital copy disc and not the real DVD. I don't know why you guys actually enjoy this horror collection videos. They take forever to make. But I do it for you guys because y'all are the best fans in the world. So, that's why I keep doing them. Jurassic Attack. I have Lady Valentine 3D now. If you look at the disc, disc 1, and you look real closely, there's the 3D version, right? But you flip it around, flip it around, flip it around, flip it around. 2D version. So yeah, I'm able to watch my bloody Valentine 3D, even though it doesn't come with 3D glasses, because the DVD has a 2D version, and then this 2 I need to start watching a lot of these. Maybe I'll watch that Valentine's Day 2020. Krampus, we wish you a Merry Christmas next month. Uh, uh, it's Christmas, then I will do a Christmas DVD collection. 
That was horrible. Aliens. Yeah, this is the main reason I made this video. Yeah, I got those other DVDs like that. Crawl and stuff. Well, don't, that DVD too. But this is why I made the video. I got the Alien Children Alien 6 movie collection, which features Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, Resurrection, Prometheus, and Alien Company. All of the movies, but AVP, but those are spinoffs. If you're wondering, Alien 1 is behind these cool cards, which those didn't come with the DVD, though. If you're like, oh, I like those cards, I'm gonna buy that. Remember, I used to have an Alien Resurrection Blu-ray? This is all that I have left of it. I gave it to somebody. I kept this. Oh, come on. That's the coolest DVD I have, and it's ripped right there. Oh, well. At least it's still watchable. Let's make sure. Yeah, it's still watchable. AVP. Halloween. Halloween. Halloween 2 and 3. Halloween Collection with features The Curse My School Virus, H2O, and Resurrection. Halloween. Uh, Rob Zombie, Halloween 2, Big Box of Horror Volume 1 and 2, Uncaged, The Grudge, Watch, I mean, Dead Rising Watchtower, Resident Evil, Resident Evil Extinction, and Afterlife. Now let's go all the way here. Lake Placid 3. House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Re and the Devil's Rejects and then Three from Hell, which I haven't seen Three from Hell yet. In fact, I haven't seen any of those movies, not one, two, or three. Black Sheep, Welcome to the Jungle. We got apple pies. We got a third movie called The Next Jungle. I mean, called The Next Level. Welcome to the Jungle. Well, it's not Jumanji. Oh. That. Automation Transfusion. 13 Game of Death. Rogue. This is probably one of the coolest crocodile movies next to Crawl that I ever seen in my whole life. Even though the crocodile, the movie ain't that good itself, but the crocodile's design is amazing. And then Broken. No, the DVD ain't broken. It literally says broken. Ooh, not kid friendly. <laughs> Swamp Devil, Sea Beast. I actually have a movie called. Sh I think I still have it or used to have it called She Beast. Oh, wait, I still got it. I'll show it in the shark collection when I do that video. Because there's a shark movie on that set. Sea Beast, Rise of the Guard. Gargoyles, Roadkill, Sand Serpents, and W Y V E R N. Abraham Lincoln vs. Zombies. As you know, I got Vampire Hunter and I got Zombies. I'm thinking of doing Abraham Lincoln collection video in the future of all the Abraham Lincoln DVDs I get. 2012 Zombie Apocalypse. I didn't actually know this one was a knockoff. I thought this was actually its own separate movie, but it is a knockoff. Oh well, I'll watch these. Dark Silence. And then here on Blu-ray, Hangman. Which is actually a found footage type movie. Left Behind 1 and 2. My mom got me these from the Goodwill. I'll watch them someday. Final girl. Ugh, a girl holding an axe. She looks like Taylor Swift. Ooh. What? Hold on a minute. Hold on, guys. Yeah? Look at this new Spider-Man suit. 
Well, since I'm already filming, I might as well. Looks like Iron Spider. The face kind of make it, makes him look like Red Hood. You know? Do you have the Ghost Rider? No, I don't have that one yet. Ha! It's Baghead. I have a comic with him in it. Well, him on the cover. He's not in the comic, though. He's just like one of the main Okay. Okay. You okay? Sean. You okay? Craig wanted me to see if you're okay. He's fine. Sorry about that, guys. I had to go do something real quick. Go look at that Spider-Man, which I showed. But, final girl. Looks like Taylor Swift. Oh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Let me get this guy's head off of an axe. Man, Tiger House. These are actually movies I found at Dollar Tree. They look horror -y. Me, a girl with the axe, that must be a sl slasher film. If it turns out to be a romantic comedy, then why is she holding an axe? Ten movie horror collection. Actually, collect these. Like that. I got that one from Dollar Tree Day. These are actually from Dollar Tree also. Live animals, Roman legends, legends of the sand and skeleton, man. Fear the Egg collection, which has some black and white movies on there. Population 2. Night of Horror, Do Not Watch Alone. I talked with you about this when I showed Slenderman. Like Placent. And then the direct sequel to the first one that leaves out the other sequels, like Placent Legacy. Oh god, all the DVDs fail. Piranha. Piranha 2 the Spawning. Here it is, guys. There's the original Night of the Living Dead. And then there's another piranha. If you look at this set, there's another piranha. There's piranha, the remake. I don't have Double D. I used to have it, but I sold Piranha. I, well, I didn't sell. I got gave someone Piranha Double D. I didn't like it. it ain't my cup of tea. Even though I don't drink tea. So yeah, guys, let me know your favorite horror movie down in the comments. It could be, it could be anything. It don't even have to be really a horror movie. Like when I put these up, I'm gonna show you one last thing. two things I have that are not horror related. And then we're gonna end this video. Wait a minute. But if you're wondering, I did get the new Tomb Raider DVD recently. Okay. Hi, yeah. yeah, Georgie. There's my shirt collection right there if you want to. Okay, what did I get? Gremlins. Got this from the three cent. Three seventy nine been at Walmart. Looks kind of scary. And then a kids horror movie, Haunted House, the Monster House, which actually saw this movie I, and I enjoyed it. Then the scariest horror movie of all time. What is it? It's Paul. The scariest horror film of all time. But yeah, I do got more horror stuff. Now, in this video, I've never really shown my horror collection. Goosebumps 1 and 2. And there's the...
Predator movies. Scooby Doo on Zombie Island and stuff, all the Scooby Doo's. And there's the shark collection. Peace.